turn my body and take my step. The whole body go. Look at where the barrel is. The barrel is beyond me. As that barrel is beyond me, from here, and everybody worries, oh, look at his elbow. Don't work about right? I don't worry about that, because I'm thinking you can use your knife here, try to stop, so cut something. It's difficult. Now, if I move, you, he crank it up and turning, so that is not gonna, that's, that is not gonna be able to do anything. No big deal, I work to get back to what? Back to my eighth frame. See, he wait on me. It's very difficult for me to try to do anything like that. It's difficult. See, he wait, lay on me. See? Touch anything, I've gotta go under. As I go under, I find his hand. If he pushes down right here, oh, there he goes, and then... No. See, you see this all the time as well? The whole way... Yeah, oh, yeah, oh, so, You see? So then, then you can move, move here. So this way you get that. Because we like this. That's uh, right. I'm presenting the gun. My thumbs are already together. I can drive out immediately and drive into my threat if necessary. It's going to block my arm. He do exactly the same. See? And he begins with this, and now I'm arm. He exactly the same. What's going to me? What is he doing? <laughs> see now full control see now rip broken so if you let go of this let go now grab me that's it same principle see so i know see and i give it see? back i know so now everyone is master one here i have the super show and i have the gun here now this is practice some gun control in the house if you've got a problem. So right. now, now, on this guys, I'm Sam Mascoli with IDO Consulting How to Here in Vegas. So what's going on is he's searching either through a building, house, in an active assailant situation. And he's coming around a corner looking to what? To shoot me. At that time, he comes around the corner. I'm going to grab the barrel of the firearm. When I grab that barrel, I don't want it sitting out floating because he still has control over it. I'm gonna pull it into my hip. Simultaneously, I'm gonna reach under whatever I, whatever I can grab, I grab. From here, I can't use just muscle against him. If I try to struggle here, he's gonna push back in. So what I need to do is as I force this to the side, I'm gonna then work to get my body between him and the gun. I'm gonna to start to turn. As I turn from here, I can take the knee out, take the face out, I can reverse the gun shoot, put it right back on him. Now, if he gives me pressure to the front, I go whichever direction that he's starting to give me feedback for. But I have to have the initiating action, otherwise, if I don't. One thing is bear in mind on this kind of movement. When he's doing this movement, okay, is the arm not out like this, okay? If the arm out like this, try to struggle with me, it's gonna be difficult, okay? Because oh, you, doing see, it's a problem. So what he's doing is he's being whole body. And if I can't move the gun, I move your if body. If I can't move the gun, I move me. See now, now, he's stronger. And the other thing, I have to be cognizant of the barrel not pointing back at me. So I'm gonna, that's why I keep the barrel to my hip. As I keep the barrel to my hip, as I start to turn my body and take my step, the whole body go. Look at where the barrel is. The barrel is beyond me. As that barrel is beyond me, from here, and everybody worries, oh, look at his elbow. Don't work right? I don't worry about that, because I'm gonna continue to move it's as I go. Work. I'm not gonna pause here. Yeah. So I'm here, I grab here, and I come here. I don't need move. So in real life, it's gonna be dynamic. There's not gonna be those pauses. Yes. Another important thing to understand about this is, uh, when you have this kind of weapon, and you're moving forward, and when somebody attacking, it's whole body, see the whole body, see, whole body. Now, see, it's, it's very difficult for see, now he see her, now he move the whole body. Because it's difficult for me to hold on something if you have the whole body here, yeah? Whole body here, okay, like this. So difficult for it, so that's why it's so powerful. And so first time we did it to where I was, to his outside. Now I'm coming into the inside. The principle, no, the principle is the same. Principle is the same. same. See, it from here. See, see I'm not I, I can't see. Because I'm not letting that barrel point at me. Okay, this, check this out. This bit here is so locked, I can't move it, okay? Now, if you turn around, see, if I let go and punch, that what happened if you turn, move, up, see, now I can't. You see the ideas? So this is where the, so unique about the training is, positioning the body. Tell them who you are. And I'm Sal Mascoli with IDO Consulting at IDO underscore consulting at Instagram. Um, 
He teaching, you teaching cop, yeah? I teach cops, I teach civilians. He teach cop and civilians, so he's not talking about something uh, that he don't know. He play with this all the time. And you are cop yourself, I guess. Yes. The, yeah. So. I've been a cop 24 years, so I've been playing with this for longer than 24 years. Yeah, <laughs> you're going, you're going. Marine Corps before that too. Right. So some of you don't know, check him up. If you're not, big problem. Must Wong here. And... That's all you're back! I'm back, man. How Haven't are you, seen buddy? you for time. How are you, you buddy? Know, I love it. Last time we come over here and you go through all the training and technique and I just fascinated, I just love it, you know. Hey, I guess what I was just doing right now. No. I was just training, that's why I'm sweating Is all it? over you. You've been you. training. <laughs> I know you work hard, man, because you're teaching a lot of police and everybody else is, they're over here, they're needed, you know. Yeah, people need to be safe. So, 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 I need, so what do you want to do today? I, from England, you know that. In yep. England, they've got no weapon and we can't, you know, shooting. I love learning the stuff that can transferable from self-defense to the real life that one day, if I need it, I can use it. And hopefully, I can get you to move here to the United States and I'll get you some guns. So this way you could start having guns all the time. But since you don't, what I want to have you do, because it's been a little bit since the last time you shot. Yes. So I'm going to have Billy uh, take, uh, take care of you. Billy is uh, the range director here at Top Shot. Right. I'm going to have Billy take you through a, a reiteration course. So this way you can re-familiarize yourself with all the stuff you learned last time. Because last time, I remember when you left, you shot real good. I hope you maintain those skills and just dreamt about it all day long. Here, I hope so. Here you go with Billy, and I'm gonna turn you over to Billy, and then I'm just gonna kinda chill out and watch. Okay, cool. Good morning, everyone. Come on back to our range. Okay, cool. Let's, let's go. Started. And let's go in and see how the training is. Because last time I went here, you know, come in here, do a bit of a... Uh, put on some safety glasses, yeah. everyone. Safety there glasses. Remember, safety of yourself must come first, because you only got one eye, you know? So in here what we do is we've got lots of different training techniques and things that we can do in here you can't do anywhere else because of the UTM product we use. It's training ammunition that military and law enforcement use all over the world. So we're going to kind of go back to a little bit of the stuff that uh, Master Wong and I did last time. We kind of reiterate it's very important that as you're using your firearm and or your weapon system that you use for the day, if it be possibly be fighting with the gun, to, there's a lot of techniques like everything else you do in the martial arts world. So I like to teach everybody as they're doing it. I will show everybody that we are using a UTM training gun. It is clear and empty, right? Clear and empty? Yes, right. Okay, all right. So typically these have a special kit in them to allow us to use the training ammunition that we use in a safe, non-lethal environment. So as I was saying, last time we were talking about using our firearm and keeping everything here in a work area in close to the body as we're loading, as we're clearing malfunctions, that type of thing. You're typically going to have straight lines. Straight lines are strong. If you're loading a magazine, let me get one of those magazines back there, please. As you're loading a magazine, we are using what's called a man marker today. Typically, we use this for shooting force on force and protective gear. Straight lines are strong. So, like, just like in the martial arts world, you want to be strong. So, as you're loading something like this in a confined environment, Boom, you want to make sure everything's in here and workable. Okay, last time when we were talking about, uh, we were doing our stuff, we were talking about um, basically movement after you get done finishing the shooting drills, for example. Okay, so we kind of, you want to be on, on balance. So after you come in, you complete your drill, you drive out, you make your shot. So I might have additional threats behind me. If I look back, I'm typically going to be getting offline, and I'm going to look behind me immediately. You see how I'm balanced here? Okay, because if there's a threat there, I can immediately Probably. go. If I need to go and reposition a myself. A threat, or, or what if you're looking for cover too back here? I'm also looking for cover and or other good citizens as well. So then I might go ahead and spin around, fall back behind me. You don't want to just turn, you want to spin your body around. Because if I see another threat there, I'm immediately positioned to move into another position. Okay, everything that we're doing here is very important. It's all about balance and being in the right position, keeping everything in close contact. We do a lot of drills here that are similar to that, but there's after the actual shot, you don't want to just be standing there like this because all of a sudden somebody might come up and clock you in the back of the head. So you need to look for additional threats or someplace else that you need to go. And there's something unique about this training that I find that very benefit for me is 
It's not just, you know sometimes I, uh, uh, when you go to the range, you just shoot, 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 and then you put the gun down, and that's it. You don't really learn very much of doing that, but in real life, you're moving, you, you've got a weapon, you need to know where you point the weapon. And last Absolutely. time when you come over, you're talking about a specific way, your jaw and the hand, very economic, the way you move and how you present the weapon and how you control the weapon, you know, and how you move it. I mean, and, and one of the things I think you did so well at is because you related to everything because it was all close in, in here, what you, what you normally do when you do your martial arts. Right. So, so when you do working to defend yourself, everything you do is right here in that circle. That's right. Right. right? So, right? That's and so, so it transitioned over to everything we started doing with wow. the firearm. And that's why you caught on so quickly because it, it, every, all skills were is so it a, is it as well was as transferable. Is everything, it? everything was so transferable. So is it everybody able to, able to have that kind of skill or is it because some of them doing martial arts out. Uh, last time I met him, the way he do things very similar to me. Is it the way we we doing the hand? That's the way you sh you teach it because you don't do do you do martial? A little bit, yeah. Little bit. So is it because martial people using that way for, or is a skills that you need possess that have to use in that way? No, typically what it is, we want to utilize a natural fighting stance. Not everybody, you're not typically gonna say, hey, bad guy, hold on, let me get into my shooting stance or my shooting platform. It's all about balance. It's a natural response stance is the way I like to teach people. Mr. Wong picked it up very quickly because he went into his natural fighting stance. That's what we teach you to fight with the gun with, okay? So, so no. instead of coming in here, some people will say, I like this isosceles position, I like this weaver. It's all about the stance you need to be in at the time, especially if you I already have a natural fighting stance, your response is, whoa, what was that? Okay, if I need to fight from here, I'm ready to fight. If I need to fight from here, I can fight from here. Well, how important is your hand need to be? Because if you could, if you can imagine, I, I watching actually just uh, this morning, I watching the video of the guy rang and he do some shooting and he pulled the gun out, he shot his bum. Yes. On it, he said, bum and knee. Yeah, I showed you a minute. Mm -hmm. And I put it on the purpose here. And he said, fuck, I shot myself on the leg. You did mention the last time I come, they said, you got to be understanding the gun because the misfire and your finger. You know, some people using a finger trigger don't understand when you pull it up, you hook it up, boom. That's what shooting the bum. And you mentioned that, I said, always oh, clock on my head because if you're in a gunfight, something happens, you pull the gun and shoot in your bum, you're finished. Yeah, typically what happens is, as your first thing you lose is basic firearm fundamentals, and you always want to keep your finger off the trigger, but going in and out of the holster is the most, the very most important part. Because if you, as you go into, go ahead and step back over here. So as you come in here and you go to your holster, you see how my finger is straight. I've always got control of my weapon, a good firm grip on my firearm. Right now I'm obviously kind of open, but if I was, you know, cover concealment. I would come in like this, drive in, bring it up in here close to my body. Okay, there's positions, this is close contact where I might not need to shoot because if I had additional threats, I might be shooting from this position as well. But as you're doing that, you want to make sure that your hand is not out here. I know Sal's done some other videos out there where we have the, but they call us some palm strike setback, that type of thing. People are shooting their hands. But in that environment, people are moving. So you want to bring this in, make sure this hand's out of the way, go back, clear your garment, and do it nice and smooth. So these are some of the type of things that we so teach you. So what you're, we're always saying and what we always say is be aware where that muzzle is all yep. the time. At Understanding all where it's going to go where, and where your other hands are, where your other body parts are in relationship to that. So, and, and so this way I know how to employ it against somebody else without hurting myself or getting myself hurt by that guy and or me. Yeah, as you're handling up firearm, you're gonna look around you in your environment. Obviously there's different positions you would use. I can see I'm in a crowded environment. I know if I'm gonna come out here, I'm gonna come into a position like this, knowing that my firearm is tight, my gun is in tight. If this one kind of grabbed me, I could come in like this, spin around and do and, different techniques. And that, that is something very different. Why you hold your hand like this with a weapon like this, why? Okay, this is typically called a sole position. Right. It's just south, it's a good position to utilize if you're moving in heavy cover. Right. Is it because if you hold, not have your hand near, you might shoot down here yes. if you made a mistake? Yep. I just pretty much keeps it off the body as well mm -hmm. as if you step that way, I'll kind of show the presentation. Right. So as I'm presenting the gun, my thumbs are already together. I can drive out immediately and drive into my threat if necessary. It's in a position to where I can go right in and drive to my How threat. How important necessary. is it for the second count in the gun fight? Because you it in the wrong place. For instance, you can you can have your hand here. Now you try to put it here. Yep. And then now you 
You delay a lot of time, yeah? It's tenths of a second. As we talked about presentation, a lot of people, you put your support hand on your chest. Well, if you have your support hand way up here, it takes an additional two tenths of a second or so to get it over here. Tenths of a second in a gunfight is a long time, okay? You need to basically open it up, boom, drive. You want to make sure that you actually have everything in position as necessary because tenths of a second fighting with the gun is a long time. Just like we talk about all the time in self-defense, firearms, economy of motion. Absolutely. You know, is what makes you efficient. When you become efficient, that's when you become survive. That's when you have the ability to win. Because fights move, we move. We want to be able to uh, adapt everything we do in that environment. And this is so important. Last time I came in here, when I met them first time, then I start to really, really appreciate the instructor teaching about firearm. Because teaching firearm is very dangerous. Okay. It's not something you take lightly and just mess around. You made a mistake, you die. Okay, and after when we finish the training here, next door you got a fire like ring, live, the, live rain. Live fire, correct. And how important if you don't understand and wave this thing around and you got people around here, it's so dangerous, yeah. yeah. Somebody die and you're dead, you're dead. Yeah. If you make a mistake in here, there's non-lethal problem. If you make a mistake on a live range, you're gonna have a lethal problem and, in most cases. And, and in real life, so that's why we like to bring you through here first, so this way you get used to. Because you might, you're not used to having a gun all the time. That's why. Right. So you're not used to, you know, muzzle awareness. You're not used to, you know, carrying it. So you get used to doing all those things, and we reinforce it here. And then when you go next door, how how comfortable are you? That's right. Okay. Because you're and, uh, you're understanding each thing you're doing, and you cross over on everything you do. The great yeah. thing about Top Shot Las Vegas as well is utilizing the ammunition, and training ammunition, and weapon systems we have. You can't do the things next door on a live fire range that you can do in our facility. And, and next door is Discount Firearms, where we have the line, uh, Top Shot and Discount Firearms are linked. So this way, again, train in here, training munitions, go next door, live fire. And then you have save, and then you can go home and see your wife. Okay, so if you're in Vegas, you need to check them up in Top, top Shot, shot Las, okay, Vegas. Las Vegas. And you're asking for? Billy. Billy. And you can see that the way he teach. I go for an hour with him, the training. He's very intense, just like us, because he got so much passion, the way he talk and the way he do things, and he reinforce you all the time, because it's serious, okay? Same thing like uh, my friend here, okay? He teaching the same, reinforce the basic to make sure if you're gonna make a problem, you're dead. We don't want dead people. We want you alive to have enjoyed more time here, okay? And then after when you're learning that, then he want to send some self-defense or some tactical weapon take away, he's the man, okay? So Sao here, he specialized on close quarters. They work together very well. And then afterward, they will take you over the other side and play with weapon. Real life training on the real gun. So they can get the kickback, the older bit and pieces. Yeah. As well as you can utilize our uh, force on force area we have in here. Basically, we go in there, we do force on force. We do wear the protective gear where you're going to actually have a pain penalty if you actually get hit, you make a mistake. There's nobody shooting back at you when you're shooting in the live range. Once you get into a fight with a gun situation, you got somebody shooting back, the whole world changes. You'll typically be in here standing there all day long, boom, 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 putting it, shooting the X out of this. Somebody's shooting back at you, all of those fundamentals go out the door, you turn around and do this. Yeah. And so it's a completely different environment. You want to get into the force on force training, the reality based training, and how it works in the real world. That's what these guys do. That's what we do here at Top Shot. And, and as again, well. we're not teaching you to be gunfighters, we're teaching you to fight with a gun. I want you to be able to be able to be a fighter and fight with a gun because I may not have to shoot somebody I might have to be able to defend my gun and this and the other thing so again we're not looking for gunfighters we're looking at the people who can fight with a gun so it's Master Wong here and Billy Carl here and Sal Muscoli IDO check out Vegas out out okay what am I doing right now I all put it your hand I let it go to the head and pose okay the only thing you guys need to pay attention his arm should need to be over my shoulder, to close to his leg. If his arm is over the other shoulder, it doesn't work, okay? Need to be here, all right? Now, I cup or make a collar grip, whatever, okay? I'm pushing here. Now I'm gonna push it up a little bit because I wanna take his back off the floor. I'm bringing him with me, okay? And then I'm gonna step my leg over his head, here, all right? And now I'm gonna do this, Danny, going to here. My shin gonna be on his ribs, and I'm gonna put my other foot on the floor. Okay, all the way to here, and I'm see back. Boom. Okay, now my other hand go on the wrist, keep my knees together, okay, and pulling down, and do the arm bar. Okay, one more time. Okay, again, I'm here, okay, 
cup his shoulder, make a quality grip. Pulse my hand, okay? Now, I pulse it up, it's really